Okay, triple diamond. I think this is a known framework by now if you have been following what we're doing at Daegu. So the whole innovation or change process in an organization boils down to problem finding, problem solving, and solution delivery. So the problem finding space will probably have a goal, which is usually a business goal. And then you want to do a lot of research, you want to do discovery, you want to really understand what the customer looks like, uh, the problem looks like from your customer's perspective. Okay, so bear with me, guys. We've seen this a hundred times before. I'm going to layer on the data in, in a few seconds and why it's important. Once you've nailed the problem finding, you'll get to the opportunity, right? The customer-centric opportunity, how you can actually address your business goal, taking into account your customer needs or whatever is imp um, pressing at their um, current situation. Okay, and we go into problem solving experimenting, validating ideas, trying things out, testing things live until we reach a final solution that we say like, okay, this is great. This is going to work. This is addressing the opportunity, serving the business goal. Let's go and build it. And then our product teams will actually ship it. And once everything goes live, that's where the data comes in. Because then you can start to measure, did that actually impact the things I wanted it to impact? And did it actually move the needle in? customer satisfaction or revenue or what actually were we trying to influence here? So I think in the simplest way, this is why working customer centric and doing journey management is important. But what we're going to do today is like, how does it map onto journey management specifically? And how can we actually create that feedback loop ongoing across teams? Because cross-functional alignment is very, very hard. Okay, so let me just make it a little bit smaller. Um, because if you look at the triple diamond, what they do today does really well and enables teams to do is actually help you to go from your customer lifecycle framework, break it down into journeys, have a journey hierarchy. And from each of these, these journeys, understand like what are the steps and what are the opportunities that we should focus on? And again, it's like almost like a funnel where you boil it down to opportunities. And remember in the triple diamond, once you've defined the problem from the customer's perspective, which is what we call opportunities. And again, if I go too fast for people who are just getting to know what journey management is, um, I'll share some resources to get you know, in the journey framework and how everything is structured. But what we want to do is infuse our workflows with these opportunities from the journeys. But once we, again, solve the problem, ship the solution and start gathering the data, that's where things get interesting. And that's what we're gonna talk about today. So the data turns into metrics because data is just raw data. And then you have your metrics to actually see if it moved the needle. And that is where you wanna make the mapping back to your journeys because maybe you're measuring something on a journey level or maybe very specific on a journey step or a touch point level where you wanna see if that solution actually did something for your customers. And I think that is the key to bringing journey management your CX metrics and actually your priorities and your teams together um, to rally around the journeys. 